everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A trio of new studies has found that cooperative video game playing can make players more helpful in the real world. The studies were conducted at Texas Tech University's College of Media and Communication. They found that cooperative video game playing can result in improved real-world social behavior. Playing cooperatively in a violent video game was found to reduce the increased aggression such games have been found to stimulate in some players, and playing a non-violent video game with a helpful partner can increase real-world helpful behaviors. In both violent and non-violent games, cooperative play was the key. The most helpful players were also found to be the most likely to assist their fellow players in real-world situations, including offering to donate money to opposing players, with no expectation of being paid back. This is good news, but I have to say, my favorite part of these video game-related stories is always the stock photos of gamers. Aren't they great? The studies on violent games were published in the journal Communication Research, and the study on nonviolent games was published in the journal Computers in Human Behavior. Next up, a team of scientists has found that the areas around stars are ideal for the formation of key components of DNA. Scientists from the U.S. Department of Energy's Berkeley Lab and the University of Hawaii at Manoa conducted an experiment recreating the temperature and pressure conditions around a carbon-rich star. They found that such conditions lead to the formation of the molecule quinoline, a nitrogen-containing double ring that is a precursor to the nucleobases that are the building blocks of RNA and DNA. The scientists who conducted this study theorized that these complex molecules can be formed near dying stars and then ejected into the interstellar medium, in much the same way heavy elements are created and spread throughout the galaxy by supernovae. This study is published in the Astrophysical Journal. And finally, a new smart cane could assist visually impaired people by recognizing familiar faces. The cane, called the Explorer, is being developed by students at Birmingham City University. It can compare the faces of people it encounters to images stored on an internal memory card and identify familiar faces from up to 10 meters away. The cane can then guide its owner toward the recognized person using audio instructions delivered through a wireless earpiece. Students based the cane's design and features on market research conducted at the Beacon Center for the Blind. The Explore Mobility Cane has already been presented to medical organizations in France and Luxembourg, and later this year the students hope to present it to medical professionals in Germany as well. Cooperative video gaming can make people more helpful, essential molecules for life can form close to stars, and a new mobility cane for the visually impaired can recognize familiar faces. That's the good news. Well, I think so. What's your opinion? How about this heat?